What's up, Saiyan Army? Welcome to the video. So today we got a new client transformation video for you guys. We'll be showcasing my client Lohit and his six month transformation. We'll be going through his macros, his cardio sessions, progress pictures and videos, and just showcasing his entire transformation and what happens when you dedicate yourself to a goal and you don't make any excuses. Also, I am opening spots for online coaching. So shoot me an email, gokuflex at gmail.com for those of you guys who wanna get shredded in the new year, who maybe wanna build muscle, maybe you just wanna see abs for the first time in your life or get healthy. Shoot me an email, gokuflex at gmail.com. Serious inquiries only, no yamchas allowed. Also, I wanna shout out and thank the sponsor of this video, BSN. You guys have all heard of BSN. They've been in the supplement industry for over 20 years now, best known for their popular pre-workout, NO Explode. But today, I'm gonna introduce to you guys their newest pre-workout and it'll explode basal now basal stands for basal dilation packed with 8 grams of L-citrulline 3.2 grams of beta alanine and 300 milligrams of caffeine to give you that unmatched pump and energy so as far as flavors go my favorite flavor is this flavor right right here jungle juice so you guys can check it out link will be down below in the description all right so a little background on Lohith, and i'm just gonna summarize from his initial email that he sent me okay matt he's been watching the channel for three years now um, he's sending me this email because he needs to make some huge change in his life he's a student that's gonna get his masters he started lifting when he was 18 and then got into a motorcycle accident that put him out of commission he was injured couldn't work out couldn't do nothing got overweight and lost all his gains in the process and after that covid hit and with COVID and the gym closures, obviously, you know, a lot of people gained even more weight. And with that, he lost some loved ones along the way as well, which definitely didn't help with his depression and everything else. And he just decided that he needed to make some huge change in his life. And he's asking me for help and he came to the right place. And that's would be my first tip for you guys is pretty much <laughs> goal setting 101 is figure out your why why are you going to lose the weight why do you need to get abs why are you going to put yourself through all this why are you going to put down that piece of cake when it doesn't fit your macros why are you doing cardio on a day where you just worked a 12 hour work day you're tired as hell just want to go home sleep watch some netflix but why are you at the gym hitting your cardio sessions you know why and it should be a clear concise goal that you have and it'll be the reason why you sacrifice for it so low heat starting weight was 191 pounds. He didn't really have a goal weight to hit. He just wanted to get shredded. Like he just wanted to look good, feel good, get healthy. He is 22 years old, 6'3", so a taller individual. He's only been lifting for a year and a half because after his injury, that's kind of where he stopped lifting altogether. Here's low heat starting pictures. As you can see, he has a lot of body fat. Uh, I mean, you can kind of tell that he has some muscularity underneath all that fat. But not really he lost a lot of gains as i said in the process with covid and everything else but that's why we're here and that's where it it's all gonna change so let's get into it month one macros 250 carbs 55 fats and 190 grams of protein starting cardio was one session of 300 calories average weigh-in was 192.1 pounds now this whole month was full of a lot of inconsistency. Reason being is this was Lohi's first time tracking macros. He didn't know what a macro was prior to coaching and he needed to go through that learning curve. So something that all my clients, unless they specifically ask for a keto or another, a different, a certain specific type of diet, all my other clients follow flexible dieting. Reason being is I think it's very important for all my clients to learn their macros and nutrition so they can turn this into a lifestyle. No, I don't believe in meal plans or any of that because it's not long term when you learn your macros and nutrition it's like unlocking the matrix a slice of pizza just isn't a slice of pizza anymore it is you know whatever 15 carbs 7 fat and 8 protein and you can fit that into your macros and once you learn to do that then you can eat pretty much all your favorite foods whatever you can fit for that day or if you're craving something you can fit it into your macros and it makes dieting a whole lot easier and just a lot more sustainable for the normal person they don't feel like dieting is an on and off button where you know when it's on when they need to lose weight or off they just binge like crazy there's a nice middle ground where they understand their nutrition and can fit everything in without going overboard also because this is a six month transformation i'll be going through each and every month individually however i'll be explaining everything throughout each and every month this is a very very simple transformation like stay tuned to the end and you guys will be amazed what just time and consistency will do so at the end of week four his average weight was 192.5 pounds so he dieted for a whole month and he gained 0.3 pounds 
and this is when a lot of people decide to quit this is when that little guy on your shoulder starts talking to you starts telling you the negative things like oh you've been dieting for a month what the hell are you doing you're wasting your time you're never gonna lose weight you're never gonna get shredded and all that BS and you just gotta brush that Yamcha off your shoulder and understand there's a learning curve just stick to the plan never forget your why and just keep on grinding let's continue also here's Lohit's month one pictures after a month of dieting he looks pretty much exactly the same physique looks I mean maybe a little bit tighter if anything but yeah physique looks pretty much exactly the same let's keep on going month two macros 200 carbs 50 fats and 200 grams of proteins cardio was four sessions of 350 calories one which was a hit session a high intensity interval training session average weigh-in was 185.7 pounds so changes from month one to month two was we dropped carbs by 50 grams we increased protein by 10 grams and we increased cardio starting cardio was only one session of 300 calories we're now at four sessions of 350 calories so cardio went up a bunch his weight loss was 6.8 pounds for the month and this is kind of when things clicked for Lohi. This is when he started learning his nutrition, understanding everything and building that consistency with his macros. And once he did, the fat just started falling off and you guys will see how simple this transformation is. And here's his month two pictures. As you can see, lighting is different. It is better than the previous months but his chest does look like it's filling out more it definitely has more shape to it arms are getting more shape even his back just everything's just tightening up just ever so slightly his posture is even looking just slightly better from the side and everything's leaning out slowly but surely let's keep going month three macros the same 200 carbs 50 fats 200 grams of proteins cardio the same four sessions 350 calories one hit session Average weigh-in was 178.2 pounds. So another seven and a half pound drop from month two to month three. And here's his month three pictures. As you can see, he's nice and cleanly shaven now. If for those of you guys who may be hairy, just shave your body if you wanna show a little bit more definition. And his physique is looking even better. Regardless of the hair, his body is getting tighter and tighter. Chest is looking better. His stomach is flattening out. His shoulders are popping, triceps popping even more. I mean, especially from the side. Posture is looking even better again. I don't know if it's a self-confidence thing or maybe maybe face pull is hitting that upper back. It's helping bring that posture back up. But everything's coming in slowly but surely. And time and consistency yields gains. This is something that I tell each and every one of my clients. Just stay true to the process and you will make the gains. You will make progress. You will hit your goals. Let's keep on going. Month four, macros, 200 carbs, 50 fats, 200 grams of proteins, cardio the same, four sessions of 350 calories, one which was a hit session. Average weigh-in was 169.8 pounds. That's an 8.4 pound drop from month three. If it's not broken, don't fix it. This is probably one of the most common problems I see with people on their own transformation journeys, on their own fat loss journeys is, you know, they're already making progress, but they try to rush the process and they keep making unnecessary changes and trying to just 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 trying to get as ripped as fast as possible or shredded as fast as possible or just you know we live in a microwave society where people aren't enjoying the journey and they're just trying to get from point a to point b as fast as they can understand that fat loss is a marathon not a sprint now let's say you kept everything the same as the previous month but you feel like you hit a plateau then it's time to reassess did you hit all your cardio sessions for the month did you hit all your workouts for the month did you hit your macros every single day if the answer is no to any of them then you need to start building more consistency if the answer is yes to all of them then you know it's time to make some changes and here's low heat's month four pictures this in my opinion is the turning point in his transformation in his physique wise at least um, going from pictures from the month three to month four you can see huge changes to his physique biceps are popping now chest is popping his midsection is definitely coming down his love handles all that fat around his obliques is coming down a lot from the back you can actually see his traps popping out now you can see some definition coming from the side his triceps popping out a little bit more and everything's just tightening up and looking better and better month five macros 200 carbs 50 fats 200 grams of proteins cardio four sessions of 400 calories of one hit session so cardio finally changed we increased cardio by 50 calories new average low weight was 164.1 pounds that's a 5.7 pound drop from the previous month so if you go back to the previous months yes fat loss is 
you know, slowing down, which is totally normal as his body acclimates and, you know, we kept him on the same macros for months on end by now. However, the goal is to always build muscle throughout the process. Any coach can help anyone lose a bunch of weight. You know, I can put you on a program that has you doing cardio every single day, eating a thousand calories a day, and you'll lose weight really, really fast, and you'll see results really, really fast. However, you'll also plateau fast, you'll also lose a lot of muscle, and you'll feel like crap and probably not look too great either at the end of the, at the, end of the transformation. You'll look very skinny fat which is why a recomp is always the goal, as I mentioned. So I'm gonna go through some of the low heat lifts. Now, what's funny about the spirit bombs or the overhead press is that was one of the lifts that he said he couldn't do just because the bar was too heavy for him. So his overhead press or spirit bomb started at 45 pounds. By the end of six months, it was 110 pounds. So he killed it. Bench, 78 pounds, went up to 154 pounds. So he almost doubled his bench. Also keep in mind that He's reacclimating to training again as well. So he's building a lot of that lost muscle that he had before his injury and everything and the gym shutdowns and everything. Squat started off at 110 pounds. He got it up to 265 pounds. Deadlifts, 88 pounds. He got it up to 298 pounds. So over 200 pounds to his deadlift. So yes, he recomped a lot of muscle. He regained a lot of lost muscle and I think he built a lot of new muscle as well, which should always be the goal. For those of you guys looking to recomp, just follow these three things. Keep your protein high, keep the deficit small, and build strength and you'll likely lose fat and build muscle in the process. Granted, everyone's different and this will be very individualized as well. And here's his month five progress pictures. As you can see, he looks like a totally different person, especially if you look at his starting pictures, looks like just a totally different person. Biceps popping, he even got like some bicep vein action coming in. I'm not sure if it's that, that's just the lighting, but physique is just looking tighter, looking good. Back definition is coming out even more from the side, his arms are popping and he's just looking just told so much better. The final month, month six macros, 200 carbs, 50 fats, and 200 grams of proteins, cardio, four sessions, 400 calories, one hit session, everything exactly the same as it was for the past five months. So that's how simple this process is. This is how simple this transformation is. is I didn't change anything, but I mean, I changed his cardio, but outside of that, everything else stayed the same for the past five months. And he made all these changes. His physique changed drastically, His all his lifts. And that's what I mean when I say time and consistency makes gains. Just stay diligent to the process. Don't get bored of the basics. Just keep your eyes on the prize and continue to go. Average weight, 160 pounds. So it's a 4.1 pound drop from the previous month. As I mentioned, yes, that's normal that it'll continue to slow down as we go, but it doesn't matter because the strength's increasing. Everything's moving in the right direction. He's building muscle, he's losing fat. And he's just, I'm just so proud of this guy. Like he wanted to make change. He reached out to me in the beginning, just needing to make change. He had his why ready and he just took what I gave him and just ran with it. He just stayed consistent, hit everything, and just grinded it out, and he made a crazy change. And here's his month six pictures. Abs coming in, uh, biceps popping. Back, that V taper, it finally came in. If you look at the previous month, I mean, he has some V taper, but at month six, I don't know if he's sparing his lats more or not, but that V taper is in. From the side, arms are popping, shoulders look capped. He is looking amazing. And I just wanna end the video with this. Coming into the new year, there's gonna be a ton of people, just like each and every year, that are fired up out of their minds. They have their, you know, their goals written down on the wall, their resolutions written down on the wall that they gotta hit no matter what. They're planning to do cardio every single day. They're planning to work out every single day. They're planning to eat salads every single day. And they do exactly that come January, and they make progress. They do that in February. Cardio, salads, workout, every single day. They make progress in February. Come March, they get burnt out and quit. Come April, they lose all that progress that they made in the previous months. And you hear that time and time again, and it's a sad story that we hear each and every year. And I'm just gonna give you guys two tips to not fall into that. And the first thing is, is coming to this new year that you're gonna create a lifestyle that not that you're just gonna work out until you get in shape, not that you're just gonna work out until you lose 10 pounds, but create a lifestyle, create healthy habits that will last you a lifetime. You know, understand that eating the same way, doing the same things is just gonna bring you back to where you were, that you need a lifestyle change if you wanna get healthier. 
And the second thing is learn to enjoy the journey. Understand that progress is all that matters. We live in a microwave society where people want things like yesterday. Like I want to gain five pounds of muscle like yesterday, but that's not how fitness works. So I'm gonna end the video here. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, like the video. For those of you guys who wanna ascend in the new year, who are serious about ascending in the new year, shoot me an email, gokuflex at gmail.com. I have limited spots available in December and January. So just hit me up for a program. Check out saiyanarmy.com. I highly recommend my Saiyan Shredding program for those of you guys who may not be looking for coaching. I took all my knowledge over the years of helping all these clients and put it into an ebook for you guys to follow along. Also, I'm gonna thank the sponsor of this video, BSN. Check them out, link will be down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Much of Shethnani, aloha.